Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can see today I am whipping out those lovely waveformer thingies again and today I am using some True by Made Beautiful products. Alrighty so I'm starting off on a uh, t-shirt dry hair. So I went to sleep with a t-shirt on my head. I didn't put any products on there. This is just freshly shampooed, deep conditioned, washed in all of that. Look at that action. So yeah, um, I am going to attempt some parting today. I've never attempted this type of a parting <laughs> in my natural hair. So I'm going to attempt it. Um, I followed the Chic Naturals um, Pony Hawk video to try to achieve a look similar to hers. Um, her skills are, yeah, I, I, I'm not on that level whatsoever, but I definitely tried. Um, so sectioning the back off just like she did and just working with the front now She did three sections up front and I did not want that many sections. I didn't want one at the very very top of my head um, So yeah, I'm doing two sections in the front and two in the back As you can see it was getting pretty serious with those parts just every little little piece counted like every little piece counted because I wanted it to connect as much as possible, but yeah, I definitely try my best Now that I'm satisfied with that first section, I am moved on to the other sections and there I am with the Clip Hawk. It's a look, it's a look, trust me. Um, and I'm using the True by Made Beautiful The Year Hydrating Edge Gel and y'all, that stuff does not play. It is not forgiving. So make sure that when you're applying it, that's where you want it because when it's on, it's on. Um, but it was really, it served an amazing purpose as far as, you know, getting those flyaways and adding that shine and that sleekness that I wanted. Um, so I've added that to the perimeter of my hair or the, rather the perimeter of the parts, um, just to help define those parts as much as possible. My hair is not used to being parted, so <laughs> it definitely needed all the help it could get from the edge gel. And this is when I really realized like, Ooh, you know. I thought I was gonna be able to style the edges a little bit, but no, it was slipped back and it was gonna stay slipped back. So this stuff got grip. I love the product, but just I just wasn't prepared. <laughs> Finally got the ponytail situated the way that I wanted to, and this is what we're looking like here. And I am using the True Curl Defining Jelly as well as their um, mousse, the foam. I put all the products in the description bar. Um, so yeah, my hair is dry. So I definitely want to go ahead and re-wet it with the, the jelly first and then the mousse. And now I'm applying the first cur curl former. Small sections and I did that with ease. After the first video, not sure if you've seen it, but after the first video, I definitely um, got a good, decent hang on these. And as you can see, I am using my black hooks from my curl formers. I did not like those little blue hooks that it came with um, because the grip just wasn't, the, the little grip just wasn't strong enough and my hand just kept slipping, so. And I'm gonna show you a few times how I did it. I know I got some feedback from the last video that I was going too fast and I didn't show that. So I am going to show a few more clips, um, but essentially you apply, apply it just like a curl former. But for those who don't know the, uh, how that goes, I am going to slow it down. So you definitely wanna make sure that your hair is detangled and yeah, the products are smooth through. Definitely want a smooth look. So I am applying the hook to the base as much as possible and you pull the hair through. Did you see that? Showing you again, put the hook to the base and you pull the hair through the tube, tube waveformer thingy. I'm almost done, I'm at the front. Honestly, the installation process took just as long as the parting. I spent about 50 minutes on parting <laughs> my hair um, and I spent about 50 minutes installing these.
right, and I am on the last one. I use a total of 18. Not intentionally, I just end up, that's what I end up using. I use a pack and a half total, and definitely looking like I have some Laffy Taffy hair going on. So I thought I'd call this the Laffy Taffy Hawk. <laughs> definitely had me wanting some candy, and I'm totally looking like Rainbow Dash. But I am not mad. I am loving this. This is cute. Now, those are the parts that I was attempting. Close. Close enough. I get an A for effort on that one. Give me some more views with the rainbow background. Silly me. But, yeah. Now we're moving on. Okay. So, I let my hair air dry. My hair air dried for, hmm, I think, like, 10 hours total. And then I had to wake up and get ready for work. So, this is what we are looking like. Total sleep face. I was tired. And I am showing how I take those out. You really do need to pull towards the bottom and open up at the top. And this is what we are looking like. Speeding it up because, um, yep, just the same process. You're Essentially, you're repeating the same thing. Open it up at the, at the top and pull it to the bottom. By this time, my face has woken up just a little bit, just a tad bit. And these are the final results here. A little wavy ponytail. Plenty of shine. My hair was very soft, so I knew this was not going to last. But I got some banging stretch. My hair was really soft. Um, and the look was cute. And those true products worked really, really well. I had zero, zero flaking, so... Clearly, I was liking my hair and went on to uh, use the edge drill a little to try to see what baby hairs would, what edge would move, what edges were ready to move. But yeah, and this was the end of the day, literally about 10 hours later after taking it out. I'm literally about to take a shower. <laughs> um, I have on a different dress because I did not wear that shirt to work, of course. Um, so, yep, still fluffy, yet defined. It was really, really soft. Um, and I really, really like the look. What I ended up doing with this was I used the True by May Beautiful Hydrating Butter Cream. And I just did twists in each section and just wore a, um, a mohawk with that style. But if I had someone to go that night or something like that, I totally could have, you know, revamped this style just a little bit. Did like a half up, half down look, which I thought was cute. So I thought this would be an option. And that's all. Thanks so much for watching.